Hi everyone. From winding roads through the Himalayas to sleepy roadways through the countryside, if you want to explore some of the world's most dangerous roads, then welcome. We've got a lot of distance to travel so we'll just get stuck in. Here are 10 of the most dangerous roads in the world. Stay till number 1, because it's one of the most dangerous you will ever come across. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 10. Fairy Meadows Road, Pakistan. With a name like that you'd be forgiven for thinking this is a safe and harmless road. In reality, though very picturesque in setting, it is an extremely narrow and dangerous 10 km stretch of road leading to the Killer Mountain of Pakistan. The gravel road is completely unmaintained, there are no guardrails to protect you, and it gets so narrow that near the end you'll have to cover the last section by walking or biking. Drivers must remain cautious as the pass has been known to claim the lives of careless drivers. Getting to Fairy Meadows is a huge risk that prevents many from enjoying the view. The most dangerous part of the road involves a narrow six-mile ascend on an unpaved and uneven road. There are no barriers to prevent a vehicle from falling off the cliff to a fiery death. The road is no wider than a standard Jeep Wrangler and there's plenty of through traffic. One false move and it's a very long drop. The gravel road has not undergone any repair since it was built by the ethnic villagers of the Nanga Parbat mountain hundreds of years ago which makes it one of the dangerous roads on this list. Number 9. Skippers Canyon, New Zealand. So convoluted is this road that you actually need a permit to drive it. For those who are awarded a permit to drive it are in for a real hair-raising trip. Let's just hope you don't need to run into someone coming the other way. The Skippers Canyon Road, located in the southwest of New Zealand South Island, is today one of New Zealand's better-known scenic roads and unbelievably scary as it's totally narrow and different to maneuver your car. This gravel road, with a length of 16, 5 miles, carved by hand by miners over 140 years ago is made from a very narrow cut in the middle of a sheer cliff face. It's a road so dangerous that your rental car insurance won't be on it if you drive on it. The road was built during the gold rush, when a precarious pack track was the only access to Skippers Township and the upper shot over diggings. Constructed between 1883 and 1890, the Skippers Road was considered a major engineering feat in its day. The miners who built the road in the late 1800s didn't think much about luxury, though, it's unpaved and very narrow. Should you encounter a car driving the other way, one of you will have to back up gingerly until you can find enough room to pass. Good luck figuring out which of you that will be. Number 8. Baybert of Yolu D915. D915 is one of the most challenging roads in the world. Located in the Trabzon province, Turkey, the road is extreme, bordered by a drop of hundreds of meters unprotected by guardrails. It's definitely not for anyone suffering from vertigo or a fear of landslides. Only the suicidal, the insane, or the paid to do this should ever drive down. This road has humbled many egos. One mistake and it's a free fall to your death. The road links off, a town in Trabzon province in the Black Sea region, and Baybert, a city in northeast Turkey lying on the Kora River. It has a length of 106 kilometers and includes 29 steep hairpins. The road is in dreadful condition and requires strong nerves to negotiate it. It's certainly breathtaking and it has a fearsome reputation. It still remains an adrenaline-pumping journey and is definitely not for the faint of lungs, heart, or legs. Words can't describe the road and pictures don't do it justice. Number 7. Engineer Pass San Juan Mountains. Engineer Pass is a high mountain pass at an elevation of 3.901 meters 12,800 feet above the sea level, located in the San Juan Mountains near Ure, in the USA. It's one of Colorado's most scenic off-road drives. It's mostly a first gear ride because the road is rough and rocky. It's one of the highest mountain rods of Colorado. The gravel road to the pass is called Engineer Pass Road or Uray County Road 18. The road is difficult and it's a nightmare in the wet or dark, or both. This trail, combined with Cinnamon Pass, constitutes the famous Alpine Loop. Some of the highlights of this trail are the many mines, ghost towns, waterfalls, fishing and incredible views. It is an exhilarating trip for drivers of all experience levels. There are many mines and points of historical interest along the route. Located in Uray County, the road to the top is recommended for high-clearance four-wheel drive short wheel base, and is really too narrow for a 4WD pickup truck. Most of the route is easy, but there are still a few narrow, steep places on the west side of the pass that will get your attention. 
The Russian-born engineer Otto Mears famous for his construction of the million-dollar highway connecting Silverton to Ure is also credited for building the road known as Engineer Pass. Completed after 1877 this toll road was a major route connecting Silverton, Enemus Forks, Ure and Lake City together. Number 6. Road 622 Iceland. Road 622 is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. It's located on the coast of the Fjord Dyrafjörður in the mountainous peninsula west fjords of northwestern Iceland. Some say it's the most terrifying road in the country. That is an insanely beautiful route to take with the road carved into and under cliffs and great mountain views all the way. If you have a Jeep, 4x4 experience, time and steel nerves, it is possible to drive this road. The road, also known as Svalvoga Road, is 22 kilometers long. It links Ingriri and Lockenhamra, going along the Dyrafjordur and Arnafjordur fjords. To drive on this road you need a 4x4 with high ground clearance. It's a loose rocky track, and sometimes muddy. Rough gravel, and even mud, and you have to go on low tide on the south part of it. Remember that inexperienced drivers can easily lose control of the car on unpaved roads. A large portion of it is also below sea level when the tide is high. Expect to be alone, this track is not very busy. It is not recommended to drive unaccompanied. In case of a breakdown, there is very little in the way of passing traffic or inhabitants around, and no cell phone service in parts. In case of a problem you have to be self-reliant. The weather can change very rapidly and driving conditions therefore too. Thunderstorm activity can quickly change unpaved roads to impassable. The lowest lying parts of the route are usually washed away in winter storms and it is only open a couple of months, from spring through to the first storm. Number 5. Zoji Pass, India. Used as a route between Ladakh and Kashmir, the Zojila Mountain Pass is located at a staggering 11,580 feet above sea level and is enclosed by Kashmir Valley on one side and Dras Valley on the other. The narrow road is on the western section of the Himalayas mountain range and is part of the 275-mile long route from Srinagar to Leh. It is said to be one of the most dangerous passes in the world, not just because it is extremely narrow and has no barriers, but also because of the vicious winds and heavy snowfall that often affect the region. The route is a lifeline that keeps the people of Ladakh in touch with the rest of the world, but it is often closed during winter due to heavy snow, which can be anywhere between 15 and 24 meters deep. Number 4. Guliang Tunnel Road, China. The village of Guliang had a problem. High in the Taihang Mountains of the Henan Province, the only access to civilization were some steep, narrow stairs embedded in the mountainside called the Sky Ladder, a treacherous, slippery climb even for the most nimble and sure-footed of the villagers or their rare company callers. For several years, the 350 inhabitants of this isolated location beseeched the government for a roadway to connect them to the outside world, but the pleas fell on deaf ears. Undeterred, they decided that if the officials refused to help them, they would do it themselves. Selling their animals and other necessities for supplies, the people of Guliang sent down 13 of their strongest workers. The team of men, not an engineer among them, set about carving a roadway inch by inch, using nothing but hand tools, patience, and determination. Number 3. James Dalton Highway, Alaska. Despite looking benign on the surface, the James Dalton Highway in Alaska is one of the world's most dangerous roads. It is often filled with potholes, has a lot of windblown debris and runs through the middle of nowhere. The Dalton Highway is one of the most isolated roads in the world. If you can drive this road you can pretty much drive anything, a trip to America's last remnant of wilderness. It's said to be the loneliest road on the planet. The road, usually referred to as the Dalton Highway, and signed as Alaska Route 11, was initially built in 1974 as a supply route for the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System and is named after James Dalton, the Alaska-born engineer who directed and supervised its construction. The highway runs parallel to the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System and despite its bleak, isolated and remote setting, it is often navigated by anything up to 150 trucks in summer and 250 trucks in the winter. Few roads in the world offer the degree of isolation as the James W. Dalton Highway. Make sure you pack plenty of supplies because there are only three villages along this 666 km road through the wilderness. Just before we reveal the number one on this list, we would like you to take just a few seconds to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. With that out of the way, here's the best we saved for last. Number 2. Siberian Road to Yakutsk, Lena Highway, Russia. 
Located in the Republic of Saka, in northeast Russia, the Lena River Ice Road connects the port city of Yakutsk, on the west side of the river, and Nizhny Bestyak on the east bank. It's said to be one of the most dangerous roads in the country. This amazing highway goes 15.6 kilometers along the frozen ice of the Lena River, the world's 11th longest. It opens each late December and operates until the middle of April bringing vital supplies to remote settlements. This is the only crossing which connects Yakuts with northern districts, located over the Lena River. Hundreds of these winter roads are the lifeblood of outlying Siberian communities yet they are dangerous. Each year dozens perish when their cars or trucks fall through cracking or melting ice. This road is one of the most important and dangerous roads in Russia. Sometimes the crossing doesn't hold heavy loaded trucks and the trucks go under the ice. Sometimes there can be icings and the crossing is closed. Much of the year the river is impassable due to flooding or ice flows or semi-thawed ice not supporting the weight of vehicles. Number 1. North Yungas Road, Bolivia. Due to abysmal driving conditions, Yungas Road in Bolivia has earned the nickname, Death Road, and is included in several lists of the planet's most dangerous routes. The road connects the Bolivian capital of La Paz with the low-lying region of Yungas in the Amazonian rainforest. In order to do so, the road must traverse the mighty Cordillera Oriental mountain chain. Starting from La Paz, the world's highest capital at 3,660 meters in altitude, Yungas Road first climbs to 4,650 meters at La Cumba Pass and then makes a steep descent to the town of Coroico, at an altitude of only 1,200 meters. This drop of over 3,650 meters is one of the longest stretches of continuous downhill road in the world. By some estimates, between 200 and 300 people die a year on the road. So which one of these roads have you driven on or would like to drive through? Let us know in the comment section below. That's our video for today folks. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and check out this playlist to your right for more top 10 videos. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.